Hey everybody, welcome to Dissect a Song, as usual, third Saturday of the month. So I'm really excited because this month is Women's History Month, and um, of course I really want to just emphasize um, that through the song that I chose this month, which is Balance Ton Quoi by Angèle. Um, I love Angèle, I love her music because um, she's very much, um, even though like, she has this like, you know, this, uh, she gives you this impression that she's like this, like, oh, she's this cute little blonde, but it's like, she really has, um, her music really has a very strong, um, sense of like, um, her, of like things that she really cares about. Cause I know that I follow her on Instagram and she really is an advocate for feminism and an advocate for, um, LGBTQ plus LGBTQ AI. I, you know, they keep changing the letters and so I'm, I'm trying to keep up guys. I'm trying, <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, she's a very big advocate for that. And um, basically, I wanted to choose this song because um, it really, it came out, um, I want to say a few years back, um, it came out along with the hashtag, um, the hashtag Balance Ton Por, which is basically a, a hashtag that corresponded with the Me Too movement, but in France. It's, and from my interpretation, it's like a, a way of saying like, you know, keep it in your pants. Because it literally, to me, like, if you take it at face value, it literally would it literally looks like balance your pork like that's literally what it like translates to but um i just know that the context behind it it's completely different so that's another lesson you guys don't <laughs> just as a lesson don't take anything at face value um in any language i mean there's some things that translate literally but then you have to realize that you have to really uh, be aware of the context in order to know um what someone is really trying to say because sometimes it can it, things just don't make sense literally and then idiomatically it makes sense you know so so yeah so we're gonna get started with that and I am very very excited so okay so the first verse starts with um, il parle tout comme les, il parle tout comme des animaux um, they they speak all like they all speak like animals de toutes les chats ça parle mal Okay, of all the, okay, so chat, okay, so the word le chat is um, the masculine form. It, it means like literally a cat, but le, uh, la chat, like the feminine form, like where like there's an extra T in there and an E in there, that actually means like in a way like a female cat, but it's also like a, and you can also like think of it as like a derogatory term that we use in English when we're referring to women or at least women's body parts. So, um, yeah, so think about it. It's just like, it's like, um, it's like all of the cats that, um, uh, speak bad. Like, mal means bad. Like, it's like a, you use it like as like an adject, an adverb, you know, like badly. We have mauvais, which is an adjective that means bad. But then there, or mauvais for uh, feminine nouns or subjects. And then you have mal, and mal means badly. Like it, you use it like how you know like how adverbs are used to describe or just describe verbs. So you're doing like you're speaking badly about cats. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Um, uh, 2018, je sais pas que uh, ce qui te faut. Okay, so 2018. So that's the date, um, which I believe is like when this came out. 20, 2017, 2018. But the thing is, in in French, they don't do the whole 2018. They they don't say, they don't say, um, 2018. They would just say, 2018, 2018. I know that it is. Ce qui is like um a relative like a relative pronoun. Like if you're just talking about you're, you're talking about um, another way of reiterating something you're already talking about, but without naming it again. You know so. 2018 I know that this is um that that you that it must be done to you so it's like um because this is this is written as it's spoken as I usually talk about letters get dropped off based on the speed in which the person is talking we do it all the time in English I'm sure they do it all the time in other languages too um but yeah um so um full like that can also like like il faut like it's you like it must be done but it's like tufo, so it's like something that must be done to you. Like, this is 2018. I know that, like, this is something that, like, needs to be done. Like, you need to, 
I'm, I'm like this song is basically gonna educate <laughs> um so it's like basically like it must be done um mais je suis plus uh, qu'un animal uh, animal um mais je suis plus qu'un animal okay but i am more than an animal and then also you can say with qu'un um plus qu'un animal um is that sometimes when the last letter of a word ends with a vowel and then the first letter of the next word begins with a vowel the last the last um the last letter that is a vowel is dropped off and then it's an apostrophe because it would be just weird to be like uh, when you can just say like it just is smoother to say que, que, uh, que un animal, rather than saying que un animal, you know an animal I keep saying animal, but animal is like the plural. It's like animals, plural. Animal, animal. Um, J'ai vu que le rap est à la mode. I, I see, like this is past tense because in French we use avoir when we're talking about uh, the verb to have, when we're talking about passé composé. Passé composé, as I've talked about before, means that like something happens like in the past. Like it happened one time in the past. Like, it's like I saw that rap is a la mode. A la mode is like someone so is a way of saying in style. So it's like if you wanted to say like, oh, like, oh, jazz, like your um, uh, ton poulet a la mode. Your your sweater is is um, in style a la mode. So it's in style. Um, so it's like rap is like a trend. Um, but trend is like le tendance, like tendencies. Like, which uh, is a cognate of the word tendencies, and tendencies is another word of saying trends, like something that happens that's repeated, like, currently. So, um, I see that, I saw that rap is in style. Um, et il marche mieux quand il est sale. And it says, and it works. Okay, so, marche. Marche literally means to walk. But um, marche can also be used to say um, work. Like if you're going to, like there's a song in, um, there's a French musical called Le Roi Soleil. Um, and so this song is called Ça Marche, which means that works. And it's a song that basically talks about like the, uh, the social hierarchy. But, you know, but but basically um, Ça Marche means like it that works. Like it works. Ça Marche. You know, you could say that. Um, like if someone says like, um, it's like, oh, um, je veux aller, um, uh, on veut aller à la piscine. Uh, quel, uh, 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 quel jour? Uh, zam, uh, uh, je pense, uh, samedi? Oh, ça marche. Like, that works. So, yeah, these, so, like, that's a way of saying, you know, like, okay, it's like, I'm, I'm agreeing. Okay, that, that works for me. But basically it's saying, and that it works better, mieux means better, um, quand il est sale, and it works better when it is dirty. So it's kind of like, you know, like, she's like, I've seen that rap is in style, but it's like even more in style when it's like dirty, like when they've got like all these like explicit stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then she says, um, bah faudra peut-être casser le code. Bah, bah is kind of like a... I like it's like a I wouldn't say it's just a French thing because I know that there are some other languages that might use that but you know like it's like you know um how like um if you guys have heard of like um Gabriel Iglesias like in his comedy segments how he talks about like um that that he's like he's like uh he says that like oh when Mexicans like disapprove of something we just have like this way of saying <laughs> like, the kind of, the kind of, that kind of contradicts or overrides what you just said so it's like oh it's like rap i saw rap is in style and it's even better when it's dirtier and she's like bah like bah no like no <laughs> no nah, i don't agree um faudre so um the subject of this has been left out so usually it would be like il faudre il faudre but they just took that out again sometimes like when you speak like word sometimes words don't usually get dropped off but like letters can letters can sometimes get dropped off but this case subjects can get dropped off because we really know what they're talking about they're talking about she's talking about rap so it's like there's no reason reason to put il faudre uh, or maybe she says it really fast and they just don't catch it so they probably didn't put it in the lyrics but but yeah typically like you would be il faudre but again with the speed and things and this being written as it's spoken so 
Bah, faudre peut-être. Um, peut-être, which means maybe. Gaste means to break, break the codes. Uh, les codes. So it, it um, les codes is plural, so it's codes. Um, so it's like, nah. Um, it, like it could have maybe broken, the, like it could have maybe break the code, like breaking the code, something like that. Um, again, like sometimes this is complicated because it's like faudrait, like the way it's written right here is actually, I believe, conditional. So it's like saying like, and you know how conditional means like, it's like depends on such and such. So conditional conjugation is going to be a little bit different. You can tell that because it's an, an A-I-T at the end versus if it was future tense, then the I and the T would be just dropped off. And so it means like it, like it, it means it will be done versus this context mean like it could be done, um, maybe to break the code. Une fille qui le, um, une fille qui l'oeuvre, ça serait normal. A, a, a girl who um, opens that uh, can be normal. So it's like, oh, it's, it's kind of sounds weird, but it's like a girl that opens, like, that opens it. Like, as we're going back to the fact that, like, talking about the way that rap is, if it's dirty, it's better. Um, and then she says, like, based on how they speak about cats, um, is that, like, a woman that uh, opens it, that will, that would be normal. Like it's saying like, it, what she's saying here is that it's, it's norm, like, um, a woman who opens up or is very like easy. So to, like, so to say, um, and that would be normal. And then she goes into, um, the hook where she says, balance ton quoi, um, which means balance your what, or like, you know, like where, you know, I was talking about balance ton poc. It's kind of like quoi, like it's like, it's a question. It's, to me, it sounds like it's a question, like balance ton quoi, like balance your what? Keep it in your what? <laughs> uh, you know? And then it says, même si tu parles mal des filles, je sais qu'au fond t'as compris. It says, even if you speak badly of women, I know that deeply you have understood. So it's basically, she's calling you out. She's calling these out. They're like, you know that like, it's like, even though you you speak badly about women in this context you know like kind of like locker room banter or like you know how you know women are presented in like rap you know um you know to a certain extent it's like even though you speak badly about women you know that you understand what you're saying you know so to say balance ton quoi un jour peut-être peut-être ça changera so balance your what <laughs> a, a day maybe that will change um, yeah, so this is future conjugation when you look at changera is like when I was when I first started learning uh, future tense like a long time ago um, when I first started learning um, future ten tenses in um, um, in school is that I always noticed a pattern that when you use future tense, it's like because um, changer is to change. But I noticed that like when you're using future tense, you don't change the conjugation at all. Like, you know how like, you know, you take off words and or you take off letter, the ending and you add the, the the corresponding ending. But with future tense, you don't change the original verb at all. Um, any letters about it, you just add the ending to the end. So it's like changera, like you see the R in there, changera. Because if it was saying like, if you wanted to say like je change, like you would take off the R. And then that would be corresponding with je, which means I, like I change. Je m'achange, like I, um, I, uh, I, uh, je m'échange, like I, um, I change, uh, no, 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 no. Je m'échange, I changed myself, you know, uh, or something like that. So I hope that makes sense. So basically it's saying, un jour peut-être ça changera. Uh, so in a way it's like one day that will change. Um, one day maybe that will change. Balance ton quoi. And she goes into the second part of the hook that says, Donc laisse-moi te chanter. Donc laisse-moi te chanter. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. So, donc is actually a word that can mean like so. You know how in, um, in English we'll be like, So, let me, so let me sing to you. That's basically what she's saying. So, let me sing to you. Um, D'aller de faire en. Hmm? So, it's like, D'aller, um, like, of to going to, to uh, of going to make um to make you so it's like 
um, of going to um, to make because uh, faire means like to make or to do. So it's like to go and make or do you like. Um, uh, I don't really necessarily know how to explain this. This is really this is really complicated to explain. Um, donc laisse moi de chanter d'aller de faire de faire. Like it's like to go and make. Okay, so faire. Um, I, I, yeah, this is really interesting. I think what she's, what I'm thinking is, is like um, in the context of this little, this like four part like verse or snippet here, it's like I'm gonna let me sing to you about going, about going and doing. Like she uses the, uh, in the song, it's like um, d'aller de faire. Mm. Like it's like I'm not gonna say what that word is because we kind of already know what we're talking about. It's like, let me sing to you about going to, to do or to make. We all know what we're talking about here. Okay. It's kind of like a euphemism. Okay. Um, où je passerai pas à la radio. Way, which we talked about in previous ones. When previous, sorry, my computer just keeps turning off. <laughs> so, or at least like going into power saving mode. Um, I usually keep it on for my notes, um, from other notes. Um, but, um, uh, way, which you talked about before, way means yeah, it's a lazy way of saying we, oui. um, for those of you who haven't, who don't know that, <laughs> um, but yeah, je passerai, um, je passerai pas à la, à la radio, um, so remember what I talked about with future tense, um, passe is just like, you know, it, that's just how it's spelled. But then like when you say passerai, uh, that's the je conjugation. That's conjugating for me. So it's like, oui, je, um, like, yes, I will not pass by, like I, passer can also mean like to spend time. So like if you're saying like, je passe beaucoup de, uh, beaucoup de temps um, à la plage, I spend a lot of time at at the beach so it's like saying like i pass time like je passe je uh, je passera pas like i don't um remember with negatives you know usually when you want to make something negative you would put a ne and a pa around it kind of like parentheses but when you're speaking you're allowed to drop off either one so if you say um je je ne passerai people will still understand what you're saying but it's common to be like je passerai pas because pa is like is it pa like by itself means not so it's like um like if you know someone says like you know that um song uh, qui a volé les biscuits qui a volé les biscuits dans la boîte à biscuits it's like c'était toi non pas moi like not me so that's usually easier to kind of use so it's saying like i i will not spend time at the radio like uh, à la radio like kind of like listening you know like when you're at the radio like list, literally listening so it's like yeah i don't i'm not gonna pass and i'm not gonna spend time you know on the radio um um parce que mes mots sont pas très beaux okay <laughs> okay so i'm thinking like in the, in that context it's like yeah I, i'm not like this i'm gonna sing to you about you know and uh, <laughs> you know um and it says, yes, I will not sp spend a lot of time on, um, like, on the radio or at the radio um, because my words are not very beautiful. Because it's like, I'm not talking about something nice. And again, Angela is very good at calling, in this song, is very good at calling um, people out. So it's kind of like saying, like, it's like, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on the radio because I'm not speaking about things that people think are, it's, this is not a pretty topic because I'm calling you out. Versus the other songs are kind of like, they're like happy um, you know, go lucky or like very, um, like, like I was saying is like what she was saying. The first verse is that rap is very popular. It's a trend and it's more popular when it's like, when they're speaking badly about people, but she's like, I'm actually like, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on the radio because I'm talking about something that like, uh, I'm calling you out on your BS, you know, if that makes sense. Okay. And then the second verse starts off with les gens me disent à demi mot. Um, the people or like, um, people, uh, tell, they tell me, um, in half words, demi mo, um, demi means half, you know, like, um, when you say like demi, uh, I don't know, like there's some words in like English where we talk about like demi like things, 
like I think if there's like a ballet term for something like that like demi plié or I think there's something like that it's been a while since I've danced you know but I remember these terms so half word you so you talk talk it talk to me um these people say to me um at half words pour une fille belle t'es pas si bête for a, a beautiful girl is not silly is not so silly si means um so um is not so silly for une fille drôle t'es pas si laide um for a funny girl is not is not so ugly tes parents et ton frère said your parents and your brother have helped you like it's kind of like um because if you watch the music video it'll it, it like if you're a person that doesn't fully understand um french it will make so much more sense to you to watch the music video i have that linked in the description but you know when you watch the music video it'll give you a little it'll show visually you know even if you don't understand what she's saying you can still visually see what she's saying but she talks about how like your parents and your brother they're basically helping you um you know like, kind of like um like you know if you're worried about like your look it's like well it's like oh like you know, like what she's saying what she's saying here is a pretty girl is not so is not so silly you know like telling you how to be a certain way um for um for une fille drôle c'est pas si laid like because a funny girl is not so ugly you know it's like kind of like a um like a kind of um cultural norms about you know how people are supposed to be in order to be more attractive or to um or or you know something along those lines it's like your parents and your brother so it's kind of like think about your brother like for example why would as a as a woman why would your brother be helping you you know with you know like with your appearance or your personality because your brother is a male who can tell you hey this is what men like and so that you know that factors you know that factors into um and and, and i think like you know with the parent aspect of it is this like you know your if your parents are married it's like well hey like i attracted your what you know I, I attracted your mother so like you know like this is, i know like when i'm you know or something like that you know what i'm saying um it's like you know your parents or even your brother kind of giving you these types of you know help like said that help um you know they help with you know uh with um how you present yourself in order to be more attractive or to i don't know just something along the lines of like superficiality you know appearance and personality is this où tu parles de moi is this oh you speak you're speaking of me um so the other thing is de means of or from so um, anytime you're using the word like de moi, like tu parles de moi, it means you're par you're speaking of me, like you're speaking about me. Whereas if you say like tu parles à moi, à means to, so it means tu parles à moi would mean like I'm speaking, you're speaking to me. But then she said tu parles de moi, so it's saying you're speaking of me. C'est quoi ton question? It is what your question. Okay, so. The other thing is is that in French is sometimes like you know we don't have the whole thing about like in English you know how we say do in front of questions like do you want to do this um, do you have you know does this you know whatever the question is they don't do that it's just they can ask statements as questions or sometimes they can take the verb and the subject and the verb and switch it so in this case it's it is what your question like your question is what um, j'ai écrit rien j'ai écrit rien que pour toi le, le plus beau des poèmes is this i've written remember what i was talking about passé composé so you've done she's done this one time in the past she wrote she wrote nothing that for you yeah i wrote nothing that for you the the le plus beau means like the most beautiful like the beautifulest um of poems i have written nothing nothing um for you but the you know it's kind of like i've written nothing but the you know um the most beautiful of poems for you you know and so um there's a part in the music video where she's like she, in you know when this line comes up is she has this like whole like, book that she opens and it's a um a it's um a basically animation of like a poem that she supposedly wrote so think of it that way um, but again, I said, I, after this, if you haven't seen it already, I really hope that you see the music video because it's really, I, I love it. <laughs> you know, I love, it, it's so hilarious though, because like Angel has this very like funny, like kind of weird and crazy kind of vibe, but like, it's like, 
it's the best <laughs> you know so again I really recommend that you check out that music video okay and then of course here it goes in again it says um, laisse moi te chanter um, let me sing to you d'aller de faire en mm. and then it says wait je serai poli pour la télé so this is the, uh, the only thing that's different with that for um, this hook it is we oui. just um, just okay yeah this is a little tricky because like some uh, letters are dropped off <laughs> as usual because um, I know that um, just I think it's just uh, just um, I think it basically is like because I know um, for ra, I know that means ira, like I'm going to um, like just um, I really don't understand really don't know how to really break this up but I just know like in my mind I know that when I'm translating this I can read it saying I'm not going like it's basically being like I'm gonna be polite like ira is like the um, future tense of aller. Aller is a very irregular verb when it comes to well just in general um, but in future tense like the word aller becomes ira like ire, ira, ira, um, iron, ire and then um yeah so basically it's just it just completely just changes like letters <laughs> so basically she's like um yeah like yeah i'm going to be polite for the tv <laughs> you know think about it this way she's like it's basically this is an issue women want to be treated with respect um i'm going to be polite for the fact that this is on tv but um um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm upset about how women, how me as a woman being treated in society, but I'm going to be polite, poli, polite. And notice that this is feminine because there's an E at the end of poli. If you're talking about a, a male or an, uh, if you're talking about like a, yeah, a masculine object or something that is polite, um, then it would be poli with, uh, without the E, but then it's poli with the E. So, and obviously the person writing this is a woman. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be polite for the TV. Mais va te faire en. <laughs> okay, so it means, mais, but go, um, go make you. So go, um, so this is also, there's reflexive verbs. So like, which is kind of confusing for English speakers because it's like, te faire, because te is the um, indirect object. They're talking about you, but like the indirect um, pronoun. And then faire is the verb. So it's like, so, like um, anytime you have like, like me faire means like something you do to yourself to faire means something that you do to you and then um, like se faire means something that somebody does to themselves so reflexive like um, something that a person does to themselves so basically there's basically she's saying but go okay so there's a there's a um, and then she says mm, again so basically what I think she's trying to do is like mais va te faire uh, en foudre I think because like sometimes there's like a there's an expression that says um, va faire le foudre which basically means like go f yourself so it's basically she says she says I'm gonna be polite for the TV but you need the, but you know like but f you <laughs> you know what I'm saying so I'm trying to be clean because if like people I don't want like to get like complaints from like you know people finding this video and then like they're find out I don't know like I don't know how old you people are so it's like um, I don't want people being like, you know, my kid found your video and you were talking about, you know, so, or something like that. So I'm trying to keep it clean. I'm just going to, I'm going to give you, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, I'm, I'm giving you this kind of, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to give you, you know, what I'm giving you hints and hopefully you catch my drift. But again, I try to keep my, um, my dialogue or at least, you know, what comes out of my mouth clean, <laughs> but yeah. So it's like, yeah, but, you know, I'm going to be polite for the TV, but, you know, you can go some, do something to yourself. Um, balance ton quoi, balance ton quoi, balance ton quoi. Un jour peut-être changera. Uh, um, jour peut-être ça changera. Yeah, uh, again, a day, maybe that will change. Il y a plus de, res, uh, il y a plus de, res, uh, de respect dans la rue, dans la rue. Il y a plus de respect dans la rue. It says, I, okay, so anytime someone says, il y a, that means they're leaving off the, the first word, which is il y a. Il y a means there is. So anytime in spoken French, in, in, when you're writing it, it would be il y a. But then when you're speaking it, sometimes people, like I was saying, things get dropped off. People say, il y a. 
So basically she's saying there is more than respect in the, in the street. And so, so a day maybe that will change. There is there is more respect in the street. Je sais très bien qu'on t'abuse. Um, I know that I know very well when you abuse. So it's like saying like I'm I'm not stupid. I know that you're abuse. You know like you're ab not necessarily like abusing. I know that the word translates to abuse um, that you're abusing, but it means like you know I I it's like I know very well that you're what you're you know what you're doing is not nice. You know you're not being nice to me. That's we'll just keep it at that. Yeah, I know very well that when you're abusing me or when you're taking advantage of me, so another way of saying it. Um, balance ton quoi. Okay, and then it goes into it again where it says, laisse-moi te chanter, d'aller te faire, and so on and so forth. So, basically, this song is very straightforward. It, I, I chose this song again because, again, it is, you know, Women's History Month, and then also in International Women's Day, um, was this past week or it will be the past week by the time you see this but really and truly is that women do deserve respect we're in a different world now where women are not seen as objects of desire or um, you know or at least we're having our we have our own minds we have our own sense of independence and I think that when Angel came out with this song I, lo I loved it because not only because it's also like the music video is so kind of like funny and silly it's entertaining but it's like hey I'm really calling you out Hey, you know, like where she says, je sais très bien qu'on t'abuse. I'm not stupid. I know when you're abusing me. Balance ton quoi. You better watch yourself. So basically, like, you know, in this, in terms of like what she's saying, you know, un jour peut-être ça changera. Il y a plus de respect dans la rue. It's like there will be respect in the streets. Things are changing now. So, um, and again, you know, Angel, she herself is a big advocate for feminism. So, um, and I know that because again, following her on Instagram and then the types of music, type of music that she comes out with, it's very, very much um, people focused, um, you know, in terms of social issues. Um, and I've even watched like interviews about her where she talks about these issues. Um, and um, basically like, I mean, again, like I just said, I can't really stress this enough. And as a woman, I really love this song because it's like, yeah, I mean, as a person who is a woman, like, I don't like the idea. I mean, to be honest with you, when she talks about, you know, like the fact is, um, you know, when she says, j'ai vu que la, le rap est à la mode et qu'il marche mieux qu'on il est ça. I, I get it. Like, I, I mean, to be honest with you, I don't really listen to a lot of rap, especially like what I think they call it like gangster rap or something like that. I know that there's like, there's, I mean, there's rap that's good. Like, you know, when you look at like nineties rap, like, I love that because like, a lot that was like when it started emerging and it was more about um like um talking about like real issues you know like um like um like uh you know when you're looking at like uh, dr dre and um you know ice you know ice cube when like when they were first coming out like talking about like real issues and then you know obviously like it, over time it's evolved into talking about like sex money and drugs and that's not really and you know over time women have kind of put up with it because and I was talking to my roommate a while back, you know, um, um, you know, before I moved and she was telling me how, um, she said, um, she just turned 30 and she just said, um, and she said, um, she's like, when, she's like, when I was growing up, I always wanted to be a video honey, but then I like am older. She's like, and now I'm like, no, I'm better off because the thing is, is that like those types of, you know, um, like the idea of like a video honey you know like where like back then or like at least in the um, early parts and i think they still do that today in rap music where they have like women who are shown looking very promiscuous and you know they're just kind of just seen but they're not really heard and and it's kind of like a little demeaning because women are intelligent you know we have brains we have you know we can do things you know we have a madam vice president who is i believe is more than competent to do the job you know, you have political leaders out there in the world who are women. Um, you know, we are just, we are smarter than, you know, than you think we are. You know, we may look pretty and we may, you know, and we may be able, you know, be the only, you know, the, the ones that are carrying on the population because, you know, we have to carry, you know, we do have to carry the population, you know, because we're the ones that are carrying babies. But at the same time, we're more than just baby carrying, you know, like mothers, you know, we have, you know, we, I mean, we have you know, the abilities to do just as much as, you know, our male car counterparts are, are able to do. And it's basically about equality. It's like, hey, you know, like, we just don't want, we just want to be treated like human beings. 
So I hope that this really helped you guys learn French and also just talk about some social issues um, as well, you know, with it being Women's History Month and um, just in general. Um, I love doing this, like I said, because I learned so much because, again, I, as fluent as I am in French, I realize that, like, there's still so much that I don't know because language is constantly changing. And, you know, um, and, you know, I still, because for me, like, even though, like, I'm in the United States, I live here, um, I still try to make sure that language is a part of my life every day because that's what kind of basically is allowing me to do what do these types of things where I'm teaching and I'm, you know, analyzing and things like that. So, and I still try to make sure I'm connected to my friends abroad and, and whatnot. So, um, I really hope this is very helpful for you. And, um, I hope that this, you know, um, these, some of the cultural insights will kind of give you a different perspective of like, you know, the fact that, you know, um, and also by the way, um, Angel is actually Belgian. So this, I mean, not to say that, um, French is actually, di because, um, and I have a friend who's from Belgium, so um, their French is not like, like their accents are not very much different than than France. They're, they're, there are some words or some things that they use that are a little bit different than in France. Like, for example, I know that like when we say like, um, like when it's raining, we'll say il pleut, which means like it's raining. But then like for them, they can, they'll say like il drache, which basically same thing it's raining but like Belgium they just have different words um like for example when we say things like um 88 which basically means it means 80 uh oh no no 88 no yeah 88 um you know for example I'm thinking I'm in my mind I'm thinking of that like Catherine and uh Lone Pal song because I have that stuck in my head yeah the, the song is called 88 percent um but yeah um 80, which basically means 80 but it it's like four times 20. So like in French, we're doing math, but Belgium, they're like, um, that's stupid. Let's just make huiton, huiton, um, non non because in French, we, it's like 90, like four times 20 plus 10. So that's 90. So like, no, no, like it doesn't make sense. Or like, you know, like, um, when we get to 70, it's 70, which means 60 plus 10, which is 60. Yeah. 60 plus 10. 6010 and they're like no seton my my friend actually corrected me on that because we were talking about this he's like he's like oh you know oh 70 he's like yeah in french they say that but like for us in in uh, belgium we say seton um it's just easy c'est plus facile <laughs> yeah it's it's easier um which makes total sense so yeah so just kind of like just as a little note um in terms of like belgium versus france their accents aren't really that much different and they pretty much can understand each other. It's just sometimes every um, French speaking country or province, they might have their own, you know, slang. They may have their own um, spin on their own. I, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, like even in English, you know, even though like England is technically like where English originated, every country speaks English differently. Like our slang is so much different than, you know, we're not obligated to speak the same way as England because we are in a different region, you know, we're in a different area or, or um, geographical location. And sometimes as human beings spread out, that's how languages form is they spread out and then they develop their own culture and their own way of speaking. So again, I hope that was helpful too. Um, but yeah, so um, I encourage you to watch this music video. Um, I, I encourage you to watch some of her, uh, listen to some of her other music. If you go to our website, languageandpeople.com slash music, you can also check out our Spotify uh, Spotify playlist of recommendations and I have so many of hers um, and she does a lot that deal with like uh, her um, her uh, one of her albums um, um, Brol. Um, they basically she basically covers a lot of topics that involve like self-image and obviously feminism and just kind of like imperfections and just humanity in general so if you just really want to like listen to music from someone who's just like has like a very like humanistic very um, open just kind of like a screw it i'm like i'm being myself i don't give a crap if anyone else thinks you know everyone thinks then like i would definitely listen to her music um yeah so i'll talk to you guys later and i'll see you guys in the next uh next month with this series